You, a neurosurgeon? I'd pull the plug before I'd let a girl operate on me. The conversation fell silent as I looked over my shoulder to see the boy grinning to himself. Tears itched their way into my eyes as I pretended to ignore him, but I knew that this was the first of many deterrents I would face on my journey as a female entering a male-dominated workplace. Daring to be oneself in an environment that sets standards based solely on gender is a formidable undertaking. Courage is birthed from confidence, but women are disallowed from taking pride in themselves for anything less than perfection. I have seen female classmates purposefully leaving assignments unfinished to avoid dealing with the prospect of producing something that isn't flawless. Working towards acceptance in surroundings that promote this kind of self-sabotage is nearing impossible with every passing day. My parents have been nothing but nurturing towards my aspirations in life, but the looming inevitability of stepping out into the workforce alone was dawning on me. Soon, I'd climb up the corporate ladder only to be met with the glass ceiling streaked with the fingerprints of so many potential leaders. But I was determined to change that. Today, I am one of several international ambassadors for a worldwide organization dedicated to the advancement of females in STEM fields. Representing women in STEM by leading a group of students towards projects that make a change is extremely empowering, and we've only just begun. Our local chapter is currently collaborating with the student government to create a gender parity goal for the 2025 to 2026 academic year, where we anticipate seeing increased female involvement in male-dominated advanced STEM classes at my high school. Instilling young women with the confidence with which men have been inculcated since birth can have hugely advantageous results, which is why recruitment is so important to us. Courage is something that I have worked towards and I'm still reaching for today. I am now spearheading multiple school-wide projects for raising awareness of gender disparity in STEM. In a further attempt to build a legacy, I am also currently executive president-elect of our student council for the next academic year. Yet even still, my mind echoes with the ever-present question, am I doing enough? The answer I learned is simple. Worth cannot be singularly defined, not by gender, race, socioeconomic status, or anything for that matter. Something that discrimination inadvertently helped me realize is that my abilities as a professional will never be reduced to my gender. My career ambitions have shifted, naturally, with time and exploration of other interests, but not at all because of the disparaging remarks I received and continue to receive from ill-wishers. The road I construct for myself will never be a straight line, but I've come to terms with the turns. My devotion to medicine and dedication to female advancement are fused in perpetuity, a fusion from which no one could ever pull the plug.